Okay, let's hop into this. Somebody had sent this to me yesterday and said, like, oh, Optimus is being weird in this video. And a lot of people are disagreeing with him. So he's like, all right, I'll take a look. Oh, let's see. Let's see what we got here. Let's see why we're... I don't even know who, who we're disappointed in why. Um... But let's see. I can't believe I supported this guy, Optimus. On everybody, welcome back to another video here on the channel. And today we're going to be taking a look at a pretty famous TikTok account that has gotten itself involved in a pretty big controversy with its audience. This is okay. actually a TikTok account that I've been following for a long time at this point, and it's somebody okay. that I've watched over time. And this account is going by the name of at George from McDonald's. Now this guy has blown up on TikTok over the last year or so, basically because of his videos pertaining to his job at McDonald's. He's okay. built up a career on TikTok by basically just showing the everyday life of somebody who works in a McDonald's restaurant and someone who's super dedicated to their job. He will constantly defend the company from pretty much any criticism in his comments. Oh, okay, this guy. This guy here. I've seen him before. My attitude towards life has a lot to do with moving back to Chicago five and a half years ago. That's terrible. That's why us. Miserable life. Sorry, brother. I am. Anyway. He will constantly praise the job to the point where I believe he even got a free phone and invited to a convention from McDonald's nice. himself. So this guy is basically... Hey, very, very base capitalism. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, interesting. Hey, listen, I guess he loves a job. I mean, who am I? Am I right? I guess they treat him well. I don't know pretty big promo account for mcdonald's in a lot of ways yeah. but he does show a lot of elements of his personal life and stuff like that as well but george from mcdonald's has gotten involved in a pretty big controversy with his fans that i've been kind of following for a few weeks now i've been did he give away the secret recipe to mcdonald's how they make their chicken nuggets taste so bad i'm just <laughs> i don't know man me personally i mean i like mcdonald's it's so plain now I'm gonna get into Wendy's lately. Been contemplating making a video this whole time, but after seeing multiple videos of George dodging his fans when it comes to asking about the money that they willingly donated to him in order to fund buying a car for him, I almost feel obligated to make a video talking about this because while he'll address the people in his comments with a couple hundred likes, he'll never give a straightforward answer on what's actually happening. He had uh, is there a way to see the um I have a booger in my beard? Tell me, is there a way to see this uh, GoFundMe? That's what we're talking about. Absolutely refuses to tell anyone what's exactly happened with the money, where it's gone, where it's going. So let me go ahead and give you guys a little bit of backstory here. George from McDonald's is an everyday McDonald's employee, as you could probably tell. And okay. uh, well, he walks to and from work and everything. So his audience who love his TikTok content were nice enough to raise money for this guy to buy a car, right? So he could drive to work, you know, it'd be a lot safer, a lot more convenient. They did so by donating okay. to his PayPal, his Venmo, the links that he has in the bio of his TikTok account where you can directly donate money to him. And his fans just wanted to see this guy get a car, right? And you know, okay. it's a very- Well, hold on. I just, did he ask for a car? Did he ask for a car? Or did they just want him to get a car? Oh, by donating to his car, right? So everything. So his audience who love his TikTok content were nice enough to raise money for this guy to buy a car, right? Okay, listen, I don't, I, I see, this is the problem. <laughs> I think there's a difference between raising money to buy... Okay, there's a difference between people... I don't know. If he said, I want to buy a car, that's different from people saying, you should buy a car, here's some money. You know what I mean? Um, but okay. Right, so he could drive to work, you know, it'd be a lot safer, a lot more convenient. They Where did could, so by donating... Can we, I just need, can we establish he said, please donate to me so I can buy a car? I just that's really important to his paypal his venmo the links something. that he has in the bio of his tiktok account where you can directly donate money to him and his fans just wanted to see this guy get a car right and you know it's a very heartwarming thing to see right the internet come yes. together to try and buy a man a cars car who expensive. could be down on his luck you know cars are very expensive even a used car you gotta get insurance and stuff i don't know i'm just i feel like we just he's in chicago i don't know how like much of the city area he's in it might not even be necessary to get a car or even practical um so did he ask did he ask for a car? No, couldn't afford a car. But unfortunately, the money has not really come to anything fruitful yet. We haven't seen a car. He hasn't. Because like, none of the, there's no GoFundMe. It's like a Cash App or a Venmo. So I'm trying to look to see like, where's the, where's the, hey, I need money for a car. Really mentioned getting a car. And it's been so long and gotten to the point of confusion for so many that people started directly calling out George about the car and where the money might have went. And basically, uh. people wanted to know what happened, which I think is a very fair thing to say. You know, I think if you donate money to somebody under the guise that they're going to buy a car and then, you know, they don't have a car after they get all this money donated to them, yeah, you would definitely be a little confused about that. You'd probably want to ask some questions regarding that so that at least, if anything, you know what happened to the money that you donated. You got to think all of his fans who donated this money, probably, they work hard for their I mean, own. I mean, he looks like a 50 year old guy working at mcdonald's i wonder where the money went yeah they have their own jobs they have their own lives they have their own bills okay. so for them to donate money to george in the first place is a very kind and charitable thing to do so if he oh here we go so i don't listen i don't know because we haven't this is the biggest problem when you do a video like this the first thing you need to establish is hey guys i want to raise money for a car him saying that from his mouth 
That's very important. Um, so somebody and like you haven't, so it's very up in the air. Like, oh, is it for a car? Is it if not? Um, and then people are in the comments saying, like, no, nah, man, this isn't it. The guy never asked for a car to begin with. So it sounds like some people thought it was for a car, but it it was just to donate to a poor guy working at fucking McDonald's at like fifty, bro. So, okay. If he were to have lied about what he did with this money, I think we can all agree that that's a pretty damn scummy thing to do. Well, we're going to take yes, a look at three TikToks here that George has that. made uh, talking okay, about the car money, go. basically responding to comments in his TikToks about where the car money right, went. Good, here we're going to go, go ahead and just kind of talk about this go. whole subject. So the first video yeah. that we'll be taking a look at here today came out on May 25th. And it started with people asking him questions about the car here. And uh, lo let's go oh, ahead and take a look month? at the video here real quick. The car money is in a good place. Did you know that right now at McDonald's you can get Big Mac... George, we need a straightforward answer. Where did the car money go? Okay, so this might be... <laughs> I mean, I guess he's responding to it. I guess that would be an admission. Okay, hold on. Quarter pound with cheese, 10 nuggets, or filet of fish for $6. Nice. Did you also know that you can get a basket of fries for $4? And did you also know with the McDonald's app, you can get a large iced coffee or a large regular coffee for 99 cents? Why? Did you also know through the McDonald's app, you can get a large fry for a dollar? Did you also know that with the McDonald's app, if you buy an extra value meal... Why is he running so much defense for McDonald's? Why is... <laughs> this is insane. Why are you doing this, brother? For free? Oh, no. <laughs> like a Big Mac meal, two cheeseburger meal, ten nugget meal, you can get a free Happy Meal. Thanks for listening, everyone. Have a great day. So as you can see by the TikTok, uh, he does okay. literally pretty much no answering of the question. He just kind of deflects the entire thing, gives the most sure. unresponsive answer that you could possibly give somebody. He literally spent less than 10% of this TikTok giving an answer to the question at hand and more sure. than 90% of this TikTok quite literally just reading off different deals that you can get at McDonald's. That's you know, true. this guy's like the McDonald's well. app king. This guy is trying to get you to download the McDonald's app at any hey, cost, even like if it means know. you donate to give him a car and he doesn't go get one. Now, once again, I think it's a very fair thing for people to do to ask him where their Money went. You know, if you donate your money to somebody online uh, and you're doing it for a specific purpose, that is what that money is to go to. Sure. You don't go spend that money on anything except for what people donated money for. That, that's pretty much the unspoken rule of getting money on the internet. If you're going to ask for handouts, if you're going to ask for money, you're going to put links in your bio, you're going to accept donations towards something, then at the end of the day, you better make sure that you follow through with your promise. I mean, it, it just, it's weird, obviously, that instead of actually responding to the question, this guy immediately results uh, like the Google listing of all of the McDonald's items on the fucking menu you for the app like it just sounds like a commercial at this point and this is what i sound like dude like just just giving the just giving context to the same thing we just watched like yeah i get it you know what you're saying i'm just like looking into where the sources of these videos are coming from i'm looking for the original claim him not really caring about what that guy has to say and then like plugging mcdonald's is weird but like i don't know if it's necessarily instantly incriminating um <laughs> this is like uh, what else what other information do we have this is the last thing you should be doing this kind of thing on. I get this as part of your content or whatever, you know, you do okay. all this stuff for McDonald's. But when people are asking you such a serious question and your reputation is legitimately on the line like this, the last thing you need to be doing is telling us what I can get on the McDonald's app. I don't you think you think Optimus ever actually give a shit about this content creator? Or do you think he's just saying that to like, make it seem like he's coming from a less, uh, like a more objective stance? <laughs> I don't care about that right now. People want to know where their money went, George. Now, of course, this isn't the only video we're going to take a look at because this question has been very persistent from his audience ever since this. Okay. This TikTok what got 18,000 likes and people in the comments were very displeased with the answer, basically saying, yeah, he robbed anyone who donated. Even I commented on this saying, y'all got robbed because at this point, man, it's not looking great. If people are deflecting like this, usually the answer isn't what you're wanting to hear, so... I apologize. Actually, the first video chronologically in this entire thing came out May 22nd, and that's what we'll be taking a look at here. We probably should have started with that. Wait, so people in the comments are dragging him for it? Um, let's see. Let's see. All right. Uh, George, for the love of God, all things McDonald's, please say that you didn't fleece out of us fleece us out of money how many large fries in a basket <laughs> dude answer the question by reading the menu lol you got robbed george this wasn't anything but straight <laughs> yes yeah, true. he's getting dragged the car money's in a good place money is in a good place did you know that right now mcdonald the car money's in his car i don't know your next where it says george please clarify what happened to the money people gave you for a car this is people's hard-earned money they deserve to know let's see what george has to say about that this is the first video how is this the first one this doesn't make sense that this is the first video only because like what the first video you would assume he goes, Hey guys, I'm raising money for a car. So 
for the first video chronologically, this is what he just said, would have had to have been, this couldn't be it. This just kind of leans into the suggestion. People are like, hey, Chris, we're going to give you money for a car. Okay. Or some people said that, and then this just became the thing. Like, it seems like he's just, listen, not for nothing. It's super normal for people to just be like, here's my PayPal, here's my Venmo, here's my Cash App, and just accept money from people. And then some people, if this is the first one chronologically, I mean, I don't know. If it does, I need, I need the first one to say, I asked specifically for money for a car. How do we know everybody donating is donating money to a car? You know what I mean? But okay. If you send money to any of the apps I have in my bio, my Venmo, my Cash App, or my PayPal. Okay. Trust me when I tell you, I beyond appreciate it. I definitely respond to all of those donations. Nice. Okay. It's above and beyond appreciated. Okay. Your kindness will always be remembered. Okay. Okay. We do still have some of that money set aside for the car. I'm happy to tell you that we got back in our budget with a lot of our bills. We had a great holiday season. Okay. okay I love doing TikTok videos. Okay. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thanks for listening, everyone. Have a great night. So. Okay. So, I mean, that seems fine. I mean, I imagine not everybody who donates is donating for a car. It's not like a GoFundMe car account. So, like, okay, some people. Where did we get the idea that it was for a car? That's the thing that's getting me. I'll have to look. When asked about where the money for the car went and everything, he then goes on to tell everybody, hey, I appreciate you donating and everything, which is fine. But then, of course, he starts to deflect again. And where he starts to deflect, he starts to mention things like his bills and having a great holiday season, which have absolutely nothing to do with you getting a car. This is. Uh, I, yeah, sure. But like, uh, this is the this is a huge problem. You're the first video chronologically has absolutely no nothing. It's a nothing burger. <laughs> The first video needs to be him saying, guys, I'm raising money for a car, exclusively for a car. My links are in my bios. Please donate to me. That doesn't sound like what's happened. It's very common for people to be like, here are all my fucking donation apps. Please donate to me. Thanks, guys. So we can't establish where the fucking car idea even came from. So he's take so I guess some people gave him money for a car. It sounds like people just decided he needed a fucking car and they started donating money to him for a car specifically. And he's like, oh, I guess I'll put some money to the side. But how quick, how much money do you think he's getting? Can you give us that? Probably. How much money do you think he's even getting? It's not like people just ran with an idea that he needs a car. And he probably doesn't. It probably wouldn't be a good idea. I guess he could give the money back to the people who specifically said this is for a car. But if they got that idea themselves, then who fucking cares? I don't give a shit. Like, who cares? This guy's a fucking poor guy working at McDonald's. Like, why do we fucking care about him getting a car? It's expensive to own a car. <laughs> like, between paying for, between, like, buying a car, by paying the monthly payments, insurance, uh, upkeep on maintenance on the car. That thing, I have, like, a fucking 2017 Kia Soul, motherfucker. Okay? I bought it, like, new. It was, like, $17,000. Between all my expenses, $50 a day for a fucking car, gas. Hey, hey buy a car. Oh, how much is it? Five dollars a gallon? Incredible! It's like fifty dollars a day. A day. I'm not even fucking kidding. Like it's a lot of money. Like between everything, it's fucking insane. You want a poor guy to have a car? What a dumb decision. I just feel like I feel like who cares? This doesn't really matter. This is like pearl clutching. Hell yeah, I'm whipping in the fucking Kia Soul, baby. Hell yeah. I feel like this is just a little bit of a pearl clutching. We do live in a society. This is what people with guilty consciences do, okay? What, He's over explaining the situation just a little too much, George. No, not really. I mean, yes, I understand, like, liars tend to give too much information. But, like, that's, that just sounded like he said, like, hey, guys, I'm taking some money from my bills and stuff, which is probably normally what the money's for. And then some of it's for the car, setting that aside. And then now he's not really answering because people are annoying. No one asked you if you got back into good standing with your personal bills and finances. Nobody asked if you had a good Christmas or holiday season. But of course, I I care. I, I hope he had a good Christmas. You have kids. I hope he. Why? Why do we not care about this guy? Of course, when the money that people donated for you to get a car goes mysteriously missing, you refuse to give any sort of actual answer on. And then you're I talking about, oh, but guy. I got my bills caught up really well, and we had a really good Christmas. What do you think that's gonna make people think? That is not a straightforward answer, and I think you know that. These people are looking for oh, answers, no, George. They want to know where their money went. And they don't want to hear that it went toward your Christmas presents or that it went toward your electricity bill or whatever. That's exactly where I want to hear it came from. That's ex. That's exactly where I want to hear it came from. Okay the case may be you were donated that money for a car people says donated who? money for you so that who they says who show prove that who you think most people are 
Do you want to know how complaining works on the internet? You know, I have videos where people like cry and bitch and moan in the comments, and I have like a really high like ratio. It's like, oh, 95% of people like this video. And you got a bunch of people that are crying. People who are annoyed are very vocal. And I do it too, obviously. So people, there's like some people like, oh man, this money's for a car. It's like a very small amount of people who just fail, figured, like they just came up with this weird narrative that he want, they wanted to buy a car. A fucking stupid idea. And then they're complaining. And now other people are like, oh, he promised a car? Just like you're doing. You're just signal boosting misinformation, what it sounds like. So, buy Coke, Coke Zero. Sponsored by Coca Cola. Unofficially sponsored by Coca Cola. They could help make your life more convenient and not in the way of hey i got what i want for christmas if you wanted christmas gifts and you wanted to get caught up on your bills then that's what you need to tell people the donations are going for i mean he probably does he just has the shit in his bio like i just know how tiktok culture works because I'm, I'm a tiktok cultureite of course uh, no but all jokes aside like yeah that's kind of how tiktok like the tiktok sphere works you're nice man they just put their fucking shit in the bio a lot of times they don't even ask for money we're not towards getting a car. Show me the video where he asked for money for car. But of course, this isn't the end of it, as just today, okay. he put out another video talking about the subject Let's that pushed it over the edge for me. I was like, I'm definitely making a video talking about this. Okay. I'm sorry, guys, but you're going to take my word for it on this one. I can show you any car and say it's my car. Okay? I just don't feel... That's true. He could just show you a car and say it's my car. <laughs> he's, he's like, I can lie to you, but I'm not going to... Comfortable. With the way things are going and, and, and with, with the comments I'm getting, I just don't feel, com I just don't feel comfortable showing you guys my car. I 100% understand that. Thanks for so I, I 100 understand this. That that's a 100 percent reasonable. That's 100 percent reasonable. It's absolutely reasonable perspective. Um, he like the people are literally harassing the shit out of this guy, and he's like, "Hey, I don't feel comfortable. Um, I don't feel comfortable." <laughs> that's perfectly reasonable, bro. Like, I wouldn't either, because at this point, it's just like making the situation worse. I, I'm, I'm looking at my phone because I'm going to donate money to this guy, not for a car, because he just he should just have more money. The fucking, he's an old guy working at McDonald's. Like, holy fuck. And, like, people are melting down. But it's like, dude. <laughs> stop. Like, why are you harassing the shit out of this guy? For the car. And he's like, I could just lie to you, but I just feel like it's getting uncomfortable because it's getting weird. It's, it just it feels like people have like taken over the donations and they're trying to make it seem like everybody donated money for the car. And they're like, they're completely overtaking this shit. And it's fucking inappropriate. As of me recording this, this was about an hour ago when okay. he put this up. Keep in mind, just a few days ago, he said there was still money set aside for a car. And then now he's saying he's not comfortable showing people the car, which indicates. Yeah, which is case he doesn't have the car. How much money, how much money does a fucking car cost you? Like, what do you want? Like, what is wrong with you? Do you know how much cars cost, Optimus? You seem to, you probably have a lot of money, so you probably don't own like any concept of life. It's fucking weird. Kate's that he bought the car, but when you won't show it to people, then that kind of you know it doesn't indicate he bought the car. People are screaming, and he's like, I don't feel comfortable like responding to these questions anymore. Makes them think that you probably didn't actually buy a car, and he says that he's uncomfortable showing the car because of the comments that he's been receiving and whatnot. Yes. Basically, trying to play victim, saying you know that people are being too mean to him in his comments. People yes, they're being insane. This narrative, you couldn't even establish that there was even a narrative to donate money for a car except for people screaming about it. You never asked for shit. So, like, what the fuck are you on about, bro? People aren't asking you to show the license plate or anything that can personally identify you. They just want proof that there's a car. And yeah, you could show any car and say that it's your car. But if you really bought a car, then just show the car that you bought. It's really not that hard, man. These people donated money to you and you can't even show them proof of what you actually used the money for. But yet you get confused and upset when people call you a scammer. You feed right... He's not a scammer at all. He never asked for money for a car, so... ...into that negativity that you're getting. And what's even funnier about all of this Optimus, is he says... He I'm just so fucking dumb. Like... <laughs> This is so stupid. This isn't even anything to, like, talk about, either. Like... He's uncomfortable showing the car for those reasons and whatnot because he doesn't feel comfortable. But yet, George has literally told everybody which McDonald's location that he works at and has okay. basically doxxed himself to his audience before. So, so what are you suggesting? That we should all go there and like harass him? Like, why would you even say that? That just feels uncomfortable. If he's really so uncomfortable showing these personal details of his life, then why is he okay with doing it with even more personal details in his life? You can tell everyone... The situation got out of hand. This is super basic stuff. Like, I don't know why you don't understand that. Exactly where you work and even give out your full name through your emails and all kinds of other stuff, but you can't show people the make and model of car that you purchased with their donations something about this whole situation is extremely fishy now making this video do i expect george to i, I guess respond or actually show the car off at this point absolutely not because personally i don't believe there's a car i don't believe that he bought the car that every yeah me too i also don't believe there's a car i'm just gonna give him a hundred bucks um so fucking stupid hopefully i got this correct i'm just trying to make sure i got it correct this this is it's not uh this payment 
is f- is for anything you want. Uh, ignore the <laughs> the people complaining about the car. Cars are expensive. And so is upkeep. Keep your head up, brother. Keep your head up, brother. Um, And send me McDonald's coupons. Papa Gut. YouTuber. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Fucking gives a shit. It's so fucking dumb. Just trying to make sure it's the right email. Everyone donated money for. I don't believe that he really even cares that people are upset about the lack of evidence of him buying a car. I think at this point, George got the money that he wanted, and whatever he did with it, that's up to interpretation. Who really knows where that money went? It could have went toward anything. This guy could have paid his bills with it, or he could have went and bought his family a bunch of stuff for Christmas with Good. it. You never know. And is he ever going to give us a straightforward answer? Probably no. not. You will probably never know where that money went, where it's gone. It's probably just not going to happen, man. So, George, I just want to say, man, uh, as a fan of yours, I'm extremely disappointed in what you're doing. You, you know that you're not giving legitimate answers you know that you're just walking and beating around the question you know that it's just a bunch of bullshit and you have no problem with it you have no problem sacrificing your personal reputation not only as a person but as a representative of mcdonald's at this point so that you can potentially fleece your audience out of money now i'm not outright All right, i'm a boomer i'm hoping that the money goes to him i'm so uneducated on like paypal and shit all right here we go continue directly accusing george of using this money in nefarious ways but yes you are you are directly saying yes you are what are you talking about the fuck? What are you on about? I'm not saying he's using it for nefarious stuff. Yes, you are. You're you're like you're almost you're not even like ex- you're not even implicating it or implying it. You're like, yeah. Yeah, he's doing this bad thing. There you go, George. It's a hundred dollars. Go buy whatever the fuck you want. Who gives a shit? Given the evidence and the circumstances of this entire situation, that is personally the only conclusion I can really come to. This guy okay. has a guilty conscience. He's avoiding answering the question directly. And now he's trying to play victim, saying that the comments that he's getting are making him feel uncomfortable. It's called accountability, George, and you need to take it. If you This is so stupid. Holy fuck. Optimus is such a stinky fuck. Continue to jump around this. <laughs> That's the title of the video. Optimus is a stinky fuck. Bro, this is what happens when you run out of content to talk about. This is what happens when you run out of content. Oh, fuck. This guy put his Cash App, Venmo, and PayPal in the bio, and then somebody said, I'm giving you money for a car. I don't know why you would say that without him asking for it, because you've been, you've made zero indication that he ever asked for money for a car. And now I'm holding him to a standard he never set. Um... Uh, Dude, this guy's work like not for nothing. He was fucking he's like fifty or sixty working at fucking McDonald's, bro. Shut the fuck up. And pretend like this isn't a problem, you're gonna only make it worse. And at this point, if you did something bad with the money that wasn't going towards I also love how we're calling this guy out and then we're making sure to say like I don't know, maybe I'm reading too much into it. But hey guys, this guy did a really bad thing. Um, he, he stole money. Basically he scammed you guys out of a bunch of money. And also you dox yourself. You know that you told us the store you work at and what your full name is. Why, why are you saying that? Like, I get what he's trying to say is like, Oh, well, you won't show us the car, but she'll show us the, that you owe your name and stuff. But to me, it just feels like an indirect call to harass this guy. I could be reaching, but like, I don't know. It feels a little uncomfy. You're too bold. Optimus. We saw, we, we all saw that, that video where you're playing rocket league. And you were trying to mess with some girl on Tinder, and she, you were being super cringe and awkward. And you're like, "Girls are dis- girls are poop, fucking cringe lord, bro." This is crazy, dude. This is why you shouldn't get famous when you're a child, because you just stop evolving at that point. <laughs> Once the the t- the, t- the w- at whatever point you get, at whatever point that you get rich is when you stop developing as a person. Okay, that just always happens. All right, most people no longer feel like they need to continuously like uh, to hold themselves accountable to anything because they have money, so nothing matters anymore. It's crazy. This is, I've noticed that phenomenon.
the car or something like that, you need to just come out and tell people so that they can know the truth. Because if you continue to let it fester and then people really find out in a different way, it's going to ruin your career. With that being said, thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're brand new around here on the channel. Follow me over on I Twitter and like Facebook it. at sub to Optimus. Make sure to check out Shoptimus down below. And until my next video, guys, this is Optimus. Well, calling out George from McDonald's and signing out. Thank God you're shitting on a McDonald's employee. Love it. Love to see it. It's the people's fault. They gave him money and never said that they, uh, he would use it to buy a car. It's like giving a homeless man money uh, on your block, $5. You can give it away. Yeah, exactly. Give it to them for whatever you want. If I'm understanding this correctly. He didn't ask people for the car. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody's agreeing with him in his comments. How, how, how funny is this? Um, I mean, how does his audience know, even if he has a driver's license to begin with? True. I don't know. It's ex fucking expensive, bro. I'm in the same net. We read that one. Maybe it's a misunderstanding, but he didn't ask people for a car. Yeah, nobody's agreeing. Yeah, I got this here's one, Optimus. Optimus, you are a fucking loser. Duh. Bro, come on. Like, listen, it's one thing for the dumb fucks in his comments to be fucking crying about this because they're stupid fucks, but you're a big content creator and you just went forward with, an, with a story without any foundation trying to basically cancel this guy, trying to call him a scammer. He were, He's a fucking, like, he's an old guy working at McDonald's. Like, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. You didn't your 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 first video wasn't even proof that he ever said it. It wasn't even proof that he even said anything. This is crazy. This is nuts, brother. I I'm fucking flabbergasted. I'm flabbergasted here. We're in a mountain out of a molehill, dude. What a shame. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And another special shout out to all my Patreon and Twitch subs. If you'd like to support this channel further than you already have by just watching the video alone, go down to the links below where you can sub on my Patreon, which will allow you to get your name on this beautiful black wall. <laughs> uh, or you can go to the Twitch page and you can actually use a free Amazon Prime sub, if you have Amazon Prime, to subscribe. Thank you very much, guys. Take care.